the world has to, to come with solutions about the resources crisis, uh, about the fact that we, uh, uh, with time, we generate, we generate more and more pollutions. We have to change this uh, economy when we just, you know, transform resources into uh, waste. CIREC is a inter-university research center uh, which uh, groups different uh, universities. Ecole Polytechnique of Montreal It's one of the academic institutions building the CIREC. We have, an, we have also seven other universities uh, within Quebec which all agree to develop the research around uh, this principle, life cycle thinking. You cannot say that you, you, you do sustainable development if you don't uh, take into consideration the whole impacts on the environment along the, the whole life cycle of a product. If you don't do that, you cannot claim that you do sustainable development. In Ecole Polytechnique, we are engineers, so we are addressing the... the, the, the well, we are looking, developing LCA on uh, engineer-based angle, so we are really developing uh, methods, databases to quantify uh, all those environmental aspects that ultimately uh, could be expressed in footprint, in carbon footprint, in ecological footprint of products and services. The, the problem with cars is not the, the production of the cars themselves. The problem is related to the, the, the energy that we consume to, you know, uh, to, to move this car from point A to point B. So we, uh, to, to reduce the consumption of uh, energy, we have to uh, make this car lighter, uh, to make the, the engine more efficient. We have to choose the best uh, energy uh, available. And these answers can be uh, answered by uh, applying a life cycle analysis to various type of options. We might have one type of electricity, like hydropower, which is lower in greenhouse gas emissions. So I would say, compared to uh, coal-based electricity, this is the best solution. But in terms of uh, impacts on biodiversity, well, you, are, you have to build dams. So you are disrupting some ecological environment. So I would say, you ultimately generate more damages on biodiversity with hydropower than with coal-based uh, electricity. So then, we have two indicators that gives you, you a different answer and then it's up to you, to the decision maker, to take a decision based on one or the other indicators. So, and this is based on your uh, value choices. We didn't know any, uh, very much about life cycle analysis. We had to learn the, the, uh, the, uh, that expertise and also we needed to do some, of course, some, uh, although we believe our product were green, uh, there's always possibilities to improve and of course doing a life cycle analysis uh, on even on 100% recycled paper you can still improve it. Uh, so we joined life uh, CIREG uh, mainly because they were the expert and we also we want to uh, we want to learn that field, we want to learn this area. One of the mission of uh, the research center is also to train you know scientists and engineers so we train them at the, the bachelor, master and doctorate levels but we also uh, train people um, uh, from the private sectors and from the governments. We, we give uh, training courses on uh, life cycle analysis. Consumers are uh, more and more knowledgeable and there is a growing demand for products that are more respectful of the environment. So bringing this to the market, uh, we have seen since we launched the line of products in April 2008, we've really seen uh, a nice growth in terms uh, of sales. And at the end of the day, if we have uh, products that are less harmful for the environment, of course the environment benefits uh, from it. We have big multinationals, PMEs, if you are looking more to a local uh, context, uh, a good example is Liberté, our Cirque du Soleil. And Liberté, it's a dye producing company, which asked us basically to know what their, wh what's their footprint over the entire value chain of the product. We made uh, an assessment uh, over all this value chain, and then we ended up finding some, some key aspects. Where are the hotspots? throughout this value chain so that that company could identify where to put the efforts to reduce their footprint. So they develop a strategy, objectives and uh, actions to, to reduce the, the, the footprint.
we have to enter in a new era, and this new era is called life cycle economy. So we have to, uh, you know, to close the cycle uh, uh, from what we, we consume. So uh, in order to produce new products, new services from the waste that we generate.